We can't Turn your uh, mic on first, big head. Okay, everybody take it easy. Somebody say, hey, big head to Kev. They really mean it. They're not flirting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, large head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Descriptive. Hey, big head. Hey, I'm married. No, no, I was just saying, you you have a big head. I'll <laughs> leave him about the way. I'm trying to see the meat. Anything else fire. Also, yeah, you say yeah. you saw that you saw that insurance and you was like, take the truck back. Bro, I did it on my phone. You know you can switch the inf- insurance on your phone now. Mm-hmm. So I went to call, so I plug it in the USAA, and they oh, jumped I up. <laughs> I was like, USAA after everything we've been through. You did, did what what is it like double? It is considerably more than I was paying. It's not double, but it was a. Uh, it was noticeable for me. I was like, "Wow!" Wait, did you think it was gonna second. be the same? No, Megan. Yeah, is that Maserati? <laughs> yep. Hello, Look, I would like to order is- uh, one of the Cactus Jack meals. Yes. <laughs> yes, the one with uh, Travis uh, Scott. <laughs> is that what the kids? Oh, that- that's super dope that he got that. Like, McDonald's is like, we got to get something going, man. First one since Michael Jordan, Kev. Is it really? First wow. actual celebrity, like, where they put their own thing on the menu, like a new thing on the menu since wow. MJ. I thought yeah. it was Mark McGuire. We really were talking about that on the podcast. I thought it was Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa because they had that. Well, well no, not they, Seth and Sammy Sosa. Mark McGuire had Big Mac. Uh, the Big Mac meal in St. Louis. Like, he it was just, really he big. Promoted. He just did a commercial for him. He didn't put a new item on the menu. No, he didn't put a new item, but they had the cups. They had Mark McGuire's face on the cups and everything. They was all. And they do that a lot, though. They're talking about they. They have a. This is literally Travis Scott's. Like the Cactus Jack Burger is actual a purchasable item, though, right? He really yeah. just assembled a meal of stuff that they already have to yeah. not complicate the McDonald's kitchens. We were just talking about that, yeah. uh, but. But for the most part, they already had a quarter pounder with bacon. But the meal is like that with fries and barbecue sauce and a Sprite. So it's very, very specific. But it's not like a new, brand new item on the menu. Got but it. For sure. So there's nothing in the kitchen that. that they have to buy special. Right. Yeah. It's a, it's a quarter pounder with barbecue sauce and uh, bacon. Did you try it already, to hear? No. I'm, I'm thinking we should do it for lunchtime lottery. He was uh he was in the midnight opening line, <laughs> and he was like, "Who the hell is Travis Scott? Who are all these people? I'm just here. I'm here every day at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you guys doing here?" I went. I was so upset. I'm like, "Why? Why is this a lie? Who are this all these people? Because right nobody's here." Uh, That's uh, hilarious. That, yeah. It was like a dream line outside the McDonald's. I was like, what are, you, what are y'all doing? I just want fries and 10 burgers. Why are y'all hey, here? Who, you got the Chalupa Supreme. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who else thinks that Keon had a regular shirt and then he put that shirt on to film? <laughs> Keon, I want, yeah, he trying to get Keon, do you, the do right you even poop enough to always wear those? This is all I have. Like, I don't wear. It's, oh, I'm all not, I have is shirts with no sleeve. Yeah, whatever. Nigga. I'm not wearing, like, shirts in the house. Like, I don't. I don't know. That's that's that's, that's, that's weird. Pat, it, it ain't enough. It ain't enough of those you can do, oh, Pat. Shut up. Okay. Like, you could have started like five shut years up, ago. Shut up, man. Like, I wake up, I wake you up got the room. new upper body strength of a newborn baby, so don't even try it now. You ain't gonna hey, have nothing. That meme you sent me is so funny. Uh, you protected me against Cam. That is, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it right now. That's, that's so funny. funny but. Keon, yeah. stop trying to find the right angle for your side boob. Like, you're just adjusting. <laughs> 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 oh, Meg, must, Meg must not know if she says another sentence. I'll take this shirt completely off. And stand up. I'll put for my who? print on the camera. Oh. All right? I don't oh. want to make it weird. Who is that for? Whoa. <laughs> Listen to your That's shirt. A, is that the punishment for a good joke, Keon? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, a good joke. Well, I'll show you what. what. Oh, oh hey, man. Man. You just gave him the idea. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, yeah. Oh. It looks so squishy. Right uh, no, they're not ass. 
Stop! Stop! Kevin! Someone needs to get a cartoon character. Your your breasts are very robust, Kev. They are very. (laughs) They like that. Hey, here, there go a cactus jack right here. There's a. They look like full breasts. Pull your pants up over your your pouch. Uh, Kev Kev still got the Michael Jordan combo in there. Yeah, this, it really, it really look like you got like the surgery, bro. The breasts are very supple. <laughs> so here, uh-huh. I mean, no. I know. So here's like, <laughs> hey, what's your hand off your neck while you say that? <laughs> <laughs> here's I almost like, said, when well, you stood up, I was like, oh, hey, big head. <laughs> but mythic. <laughs> your chest looks like Homer Simpson. I took a couple photos. <laughs> I took a couple photos. I just, to, I just want you to see what we see. <laughs> I'm looking hey. in the mirror. <laughs> this needs to be a cartoon character named uh, Wolf. <laughs> Wolf? Yeah, W A L F. Meg, um, old girl hit me, hit me up from the army again to do skydiving. I was yeah, like, I don't want you to knock that over. If I, if I couldn't make it thin, I damn sure can't make it now. You said nothing changed oh, last year. It's actually got right on the border. It's actually got. I was on the border before. Now yeah. I am out of the country. Right, you understand that. me? I am oh, way here. in Mexico. I'm in Tijuana. See here, right. you are you in quarantine? You should be doing better. You got more time to like work what? out. What? Shut what? up! You know what how ridiculous you, you sound. What if Everybody they gave me one of You think yeah. I'm gonna be like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna take this time and work out? No, I'm gonna eat. Look at okay. Kevin. Kevin doesn't care about his body or his health I'm or eating, his life. Eating, no, I'm eating lemonade now. You can probably put a bunch of barbecue bag. sauce all under the bottom of that. No, it doesn't, make It's Megan. gravy. Uh, that's it's his cool down <laughs> meal. That's his cool down meal after his ribs. <laughs> <laughs> we caught him on the cool down. <laughs> cool down meal is hilarious. <laughs> That is funny. That was really funny, Patrick. Keon, what you had to do? Like six push ups real quick? No, I had to put the kids down. Like you knocked them out? Because nobody puts kids to sleep that fast. No, they, I mean, they go, you know, they go pee, they go to their rooms, and they close their eyes and they go to sleep. So it's it. 1 p.m. You got them trained like that? They just, they just listen? Yeah. You hitting those kids. That's you know what's crazy? crazy. My son, I was telling people, my son behaves. I've never laid a hand on them, and he behaves like I've been beating him <laughs> for years. Cause Yesterday, you come in Adam's apple wild. first. You said what? Because you come in Adam's apple first. All right, what's that going on? Yeah. From his, from his view, he's like, this thing's going to stab me in the head. I don't need this in my life. <laughs> the other day, other day he was wilding out, and I just came up here and I was like, "I'm, I'm always calm because they're so scared of me. I don't like to yell at them." I was like, "What's going on, bro?" He's backing up. He's like, "No, no, I'm sorry." I'm like, "What are you, what are you talking about? I never touched you." That's hilarious. I'm, I'm not kind of yelling. Hilarious. I'm not just telling you, "Hey, man, then I can fly." Okay. That'd be a good. That'd be a good prank in front of company. Like if you had people over and you were like, "No, hey, no, like, no, please, not again." <laughs> he, he, and my, and my, my mother-in-law was here. She was looking at him like, what are, you, what are you doing? But she thought it was hilarious because, you know, they listen. But I was like, the, the fear they have is un, it's, it doesn't match what kind of punishments they've had. That's so my, hilarious. I wish I had that with my daughter. My daughter's 14 now, and she she just don't care about nothing. You ever met somebody that's just... Just very lackadaisical. He's a teenager. That's why. That's a teenager. I hear you, but like low key, it was kind of like that before. Like she's just never moved fast to do anything. She's never <laughs> had a sense of urgency. Like literally, the house could be on fire. Like Kendall, we got to go. It's on fire. She was like, "All right." <laughs> and she will stay there playing Roblox for another ten minutes as the house that's burns called down. Kill. She yeah, she has a very chill personality. Yeah. She's just she like, oh, the place on fire. Bet. All That's right. crazy. <laughs> Take anything. Yeah, your life and get it get it out of this place. No, I'm cool. Kev, I hate you, it, man. Kev, do you my, close your eyes with every bite? 
Wow, what? <laughs> you close your eyes with every bite? Or is this just like a, a really good meal? <laughs> I um, guarantee you, I would bet you $10 that Kev's shoes are off right now. I get, I right. guarantee his shoes are off and he's rubbing his feet together. <laughs> <laughs> where Fat are you? Ass. Kev, are you, where are you? Oh, they're here. Where are you? <laughs> going on. <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you, Kev? I'm at transit. Oh, okay. I, oh, yeah. Okay. I, the black curtains. All right, they set me up. Where you so, shooting? Meg, you get you do you get you get dressed at home. When you're at home, you get dressed. Me? No, I'm actually Meg, because she's the only one at home right now. Yeah, hmm? wait, what do you mean? Where else would I get dressed? I'm saying when you're at home, you put on like going out clothes when you're at home. Mm -hmm. No, well, I mean, to shoot, you I put on like an actual shirt because other than that, I mean, I had a bonnet on not too long ago. I had, <laughs> I had a bathrobe on. <laughs> oh, okay. Did so I actually yeah. don't do my makeup. A... I actually look like I'm halfway alive. She didn't have a wedding ring on, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How you know I'm not already married, Kevin? And I just don't want to share it with you. You because she be smiling. Would I? You don't no, know. He you be don't know. smiling. You don't know my life. You said he be smiling, man. Like, he be smiling. Know. He they still got a way out long as he doesn't marry you is what Kevin said. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> would you do a secret wedding without telling people, Meg? Oh, yeah, for sure. No, she would. I'm still mad at Meg for telling her family her baby's gender before us. Yeah, what kind of what gives? They don't oh sit God, next no. to you. They didn't sit next to you eight hours a day. We were here. <laughs> we were there. You go, oh, because my mom raised me. I'm gonna tell her first. You really changed. Oh. Her mama don't even like you for real, Meg. Stop it. We should have been first. Ass backwards, Meg. Y'all didn't even know that. I knew. I knew. I I was pregnant. Y'all didn't even I know. knew Meg was. I I was talking I to Kev and I was like, yo, does Meg look pregnant to you? He was like, mm -hmm, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. He had already knew at this point. And I was like, Did you know him at that point? I, I knew. You told me after the squad cast, I mean the uh, squad live rehearsal that one time. Oh, so now Kev is even better than us and your family. Got it. <laughs> and May <laughs> called me her brother. She called me her brother, and she told me what she told everybody I else. Oh, guess not so brother. No, wait, I thought you already knew to hear because I feel like you asked me before. No. You no, got to no. here was in the mommy and me Facebook group you were in, man. He was what? The here was in the mommy and me Facebook group you joined. <laughs> <laughs> you guys took Lamaze class together? <laughs> you didn't even know, huh? <laughs> here took lasagna class. <laughs> did y'all do that stuff when you guys had your babies? You did with all that crap? Uh, no, I feel like class. the mods was only a thing I saw on TV. My wife never even mentioned, I would have went if she went, but she never, all that stuff on TV that they do, I feel like that is just for movies. I don't That's know if I, Is it practice? Is it? Like pregnancy pra practice? No, but here's the thing, nobody really does like, it's weird because Amaz is supposed to be like the technique for breathing, but the truth is when you about to push baby out, all they are really, the window. Yeah, and like they, if you needed help breathing, they would tell you how to breathe like right then. So it's Man. not really, so now like I went to like a baby, like a how to swaddle, you know, just like a general like newborn class. Swaddle. I think that's swaddle. like, you said, what is a swaddle? A little swaddle. <laughs> it's like how you wrap a baby they, up in they a blanket. They your baby like a burrito so they'll feel comfortable. They do look like little burritos. And they love it, okay? Well, some it of them, them feel like, the womb. like trying to break out. <laughs> Ned, can you describe the pain of, of giving birth? Uh, um, I don't want to hear that. You just want to die. At, when, it, when you hit oh, the God. hard part of labor, like the last, um, I would say probably like between like eight, seven to 10 centimeters, maybe for me, I was like, just take my life, Lord, take my life. I, don't know. I, I went on, I went on Meg's podcast and learned about the rip. Oh man. That's a thing. They let you into the deepest, darkest path. Okay, I had no you idea. Imagine? That's why moms don't be wanting to hear nothing, no back talk from kids. Like you literally <laughs> ripped my vagina, bro. I don't, don't <laughs> oh, at me, bro. Yeah. So what's it look like? Does, 
Does the does the uh, vagina ever rip all the way to the butthole? So, like that's a very severe tear, but yeah, that I'm sure that's happened before. That happens, and then you just open in between your legs. It's just open, like this. Yeah, but they sew it up immediately. Damn! So you have just some people just have Joker scars down there from the from one to the other. <laughs> Why it's so serious? Why it's so? Serious? You want to know how oh I got God, these scars? Joker scars. <laughs> All right, and I think that's a great place for us to get started. I got these scars. Three mimosas and back shots. That's how I got them. <laughs> 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 oh God! We gotta get right Doggy into this time. first topic of the day. <laughs> <laughs> right after this. Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Listen to all the people that have their own t-shirt business or you're, you're selling masks, you're selling earrings, you're selling jersey dresses. I don't know why anybody would still be selling jersey dresses, but hey, there's a market for everything. How are you going to manage with this holiday season? Because let's be honest, we're seeing the highest number of online selling that we have ever seen in our life. The holiday season is right around the corner. Are you going to be able to keep up with all of those orders that you have to ship out? Are you going to be able to keep up with who gets what, what shipping carrier to use, and are you getting the best rates? Because that's the real thing, the best rates. All of these large companies, they have all of these locked-in deals with all of these shipping carriers, but who looks out for the little guy? I'll tell you who. ShipStation.com. ShipStation.com is the fastest, easiest, and the most affordable way to manage all of your orders. In just a few clicks, you're managing all your orders, you're printing out discounted shipping labels, and you're getting your product to your consumers fast. And one of the great things about ShipStation.com is it doesn't matter if you're sending 10 packages or you're sending 100 or you're sending 500. You get the same discount, okay? The same discount as the big corporations that the big companies get, we're giving to the little guys. And it doesn't matter if you're selling on Amazon, Etsy, or your own website. ShipStation.com brings all of your orders into one interface so you can easily manage everything. ShipStation.com is the number one shipper with online sellers, okay? You'll ship more in less time with the best available rates. Now, for all my listeners at home, because you guys know I come with the best deals, okay? I'm going to hook you up with 60 free days on your account. That's right, 60 of them. All you have to do is go to ShipStation.com, enter in the promo squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and enjoy 60 days of a free account on ShipStation.com. What could be easier than that? What, you don't like saving money? You don't like amazing rates? You don't like getting your packages to your customers fast? Huh? Of course you do. So do it right now. Go to ShipStation.com, enter the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and enjoy 60 days for free on your boy. Holla! All right, first topic of the day. Who would you rather spend 24 hours partying with? Drake or Will Smith? Oh, partying, not just partying. Oh, partying. Yeah, yeah, boy. Oh, I, thought it was, I thought it was just hanging out with. If we're hanging out, Will. If we're yeah. partying, Drake. Uh, Wait, Drake why? Not say partying in the text. You right. I didn't hanging say out. partying. I like to throw it. Wait, but hold on, hold on. Why don't we just say hanging out and that encompasses partying? So partying is a part of it. Like just going to breakfast is a part of it. Hanging out at the house is a part of it. Why can't it just be all of that? Okay, no, let's, that, let's, that let's do that. It really let's, changes the answer. Yeah. Why? Why would it change it? Because, because if I'm talking to Will, I'm trying to, you know, learn the game. I'm trying to talk knowledge, blah, blah. If I'm with Drake, I'm like, whatever wild shit we're going to get into, let's just do that. <laughs> Here's the thing. Okay, but, okay, so let's let's say this. Like, it's 24 hours. There's no restrictions. Obviously, money is of no issue. It's definitely going to be some partying there. It's going to be some times where y'all traveling, like going to a place where you can have those real conversations. All of that is in this 24 hours. Who would you rather spend the 24 hours with, Drake or Will Smith? Will. Will. I've already spent 24 seconds with Will. <laughs> Will, Will can give you more insight. Drake has a lot of insight in the music game. Will has insight in everything. And yeah. he's funny, which yeah. is big, a big deal. He's funny. I don't think Drake is. Drake is kind of funny. but Drake he's is funny. Fun. Drake Drake's is funny. Fun. Here's the thing. This is what I want to point out. True Will has more um, insight on acting and movies and things of that nature because he, he made that pivot. But let's not forget that Drake killed it. Both times he was on Saturday Night Live, yep. we've all heard people say how funny Drake is. 
He's been on top of the music industry for 10 years straight. Um, he has a successful partnership with the Jordan brand. He has his own plane. He has dual citizenship. Drake has been on it, bro. Like, don't get these last three facts. Like that. I just feel like that's hard. Like, he got dual citizenship. I'm just saying, like, you haven't met? Uh, you haven't met? I, 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 I was born in up. Korea. Shut up to hear that. Ain't even we're, not to, we're, trying not, we're not trying to marry this nigga. We're just 24. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, you can, you, can, you can get information from either side. Don't don't make it seem like just because Will's been doing movies for the last 20 years, he's the only one with information. Will, Will's, been, Will's not only been doing it longer, I just feel like he knows more. Plus, you know what I'm saying? Now that our boy's out the picture, I could be the next entanglement. I'm like, yo. Maybe I'm going to show this to your wife. I'm trying to get in. I want to be entangled. What's up, Jada? I I would be like a cool little side dude around the Smith house. I'll just pop up, say a few jokes. You know what? You actually fit the profile. You got like a, you you do have the same kind of build as as August. You're into music. You know, I can see her. I can see having the same build as August. Why not? And I, I, think, look, I, I think it would be like weird for her to talk to Pat because Pat acts so much like Jaden. I think she would look at Pat like another son. <sighs> she, she would see Pat she'd like, oh, look at you. I think you and Willow would get along great. Nah, man, I'm older. And I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I can see myself just popping into the kitchen like, what's for breakfast? And then, right. <laughs> then just disappearing into my wing of the house for the rest of the month. <laughs> I have Jaden's water right here. Jaden's hey. water. It's just water. I don't see the big deal. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, hey should yo. that should be the slogan. Uh, that's funny. Right, well, I don't know, know, man. I, I would be hard pressed to decide right away because. Hey, Tom. He, he had been doing really well. We're 19 minutes in. He, he says, desire, desire. <laughs> also. <laughs> There's a hey Tom emoji. I'm gonna find it and put it in the comments. Somebody from All Dev showed it to me. And there's a white man doing this. Well, I turn him black. Back to you. Was that a real emoji or was that made for this? It, it, it was it's really like in the It's people. like the, the sign like whatever this means. I don't know, whatever the sign language is for that. <laughs> That's what the emoji is like. Here, I'm gonna make a gold star board for you. And every 15 minutes you you go without messing up. I'm Hilarious. <laughs> I'm here for and it. You make it a whole episode, I'm going to give you a pizza party. Mm -mm. <laughs> 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 they used to bribe the pizza party all doggone year. All year they bribed the pizza party. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Love it. I don't even know what it's supposed to be for. Is that like the sign language for here? And the motion makes it look like he's going like this, so it's it's literally perfect. I would put I would put money that the hear could go through sentences longer than Kev can go without taking bites. <laughs> like I feel like to hear would do it first. Kev be eat. He does. Yes, he does. Listen, you know what's funny to me? I just thought about this. To hear, do you be stumbling during sex? No. <laughs> like who this is. Ah, thank you. Who is it? Who is it? I know you walking with this. I know, I know, I know, no, I know you walking, walking, with, walking this? with this. Do you Where am I walking to? No, no, no. I know you walking with this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mess up. I know you, I, I know you walking with this. I, I, <laughs> why did y'all turn into a three-year-old with a speech impediment? Why, why did you become that guy all of a sudden? Y'all so petty, bruh. This Who's you better is this. Y'all gonna y'all gonna block y'all blessings. Y'all don't know how to stop. Y'all take things too far all the time. You like Who's pouch this? wick? Oh, I didn't mean pouch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whose wick is it? Whose wick is it? Like, like why? That, why is she like three? Wick? You like that dwick? <laughs> <laughs> you guys having a good time over there? <laughs> Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Don't right, even now, now flip a while. Funnier than that is to hear trying to fuss at his daughter and and stumbling over a word. You lose all power. <laughs> I told you to do this house home homework. Home, how, how, go to your room. Go to your womb. Go to your womb. Bro, imagine imagine him talking trying to talk to Siri. 
<laughs> Siri, hey, sure. what is a wawa go bobble? <laughs> something so i don't care what he say that's why you <laughs> fail kevin right. fail. <laughs> you fail. up to your neck and that's why you <laughs> fell. Like, you fell back. Them titties <laughs> split like the red sea the titties was like <laughs> <laughs> that's the le- kev went down laughing and he came up with the most serious face ever that shit wasn't funny when he came up <laughs> i'm like I think it looked disheveled. You smell so hard, too. All right, guys. So, Will Smith or Drake? (laughs) What happened was, Kev thought he dropped some food behind there. He was like, ooh, another piece. (laughs) What's the fastest way down there? (laughs) My house chair is strong. This, This wasn't ready. (laughs) <laughs> oh, what is it? I'm telling you, when them titties go backwards, there's no saving them. You gonna fall. The back. fact that you fall out of chairs multiple times, though, that's like a thing for you. <laughs> that's like I a thing. It before. <laughs> it's fun. I've definitely done it before. Oh, yeah. You did it on squad cast one time. It was hilarious. Yeah, my wife deleted the footage on accident. Or did she? <laughs> was that all oh, that was the episode, huh? You oh, son of a bastard. No, I, I didn't. Mm-mm-mm. So what y'all going with, man? Who y'all, who y'all, uh, who y'all rock with? Yeah, I don't think I want to spend that much time with Drake. Well, plus I feel like what if you get on a plane with Drake and then he starts venting about what he feels about this girl and he gets like, you know, starts going into his emotions. I don't have time for that shit. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? I'm fine, and I got a big old booty, so he's gonna try to holler at me. So I'm gonna just be like, "No, Drake." What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, Drake like big booty girls. So okay. you don't have nothing okay. to talk about, man. I know. I'm just playing. I wanted to be included. Oh. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, you, was everybody, was everybody, everybody was like, at that time, everybody said it was like, hmm? okay. <laughs> hey, you know that. <laughs> You know that uh, scissor song where she be like, I'm insecure because I ain't got no booty and only you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're a great mother. You're a great mother and producer. I you're ain't even worried there. about that because I'm, I'm about to be out here. I'm going to be participating in that period challenge, you know, when they, you, you know what they be doing. Ma'am. I'm gonna be there real soon. I've been hiking up this these hills over here. That's coming. <laughs> You're about to participate in the exclamation point challenge. <laughs> <laughs> she participate in the LOL challenge. <laughs> really? <laughs> 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 oh. Topic challenge. <laughs> <laughs> don't be doing me like that. Don't, don't do, don't do her, Pat. <laughs> don't do her. <laughs> now I'm gonna go. Will. Will seems like more fun. There's more stuff to learn. I feel like Will would want to drink. Like I'm, I'm, if I'm hanging what with somebody is? rich, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to drink all the Wait, stuff that I can't afford to drink. You be drinking? I ain't yeah. never seen a drink like that. I, I mean, like Drake gonna have Drake gonna have all the best drinks on the plane, but then that's gonna cause him to start crying and feel out his emotions again. Again, the alcohol with Drake, I don't know if that goes too well. I feel like yeah, Drake. I, don't think I would want to hang out with Drake. I, I, although Drake did, um, he did that for y'all video that one time. That was hilarious. So maybe they looked like they had a good time. I don't remember that. He was in it. Yeah, they did a T Dot Goon Squad video with Drake. No, that's not that? to say that Drake wouldn't be entertaining or funny. I just feel like I would get more out of talking with Will. Yeah, it would probably just be a better day. Drake would be funnier to funner to party with, though. Yeah. But Will, you know. Yeah, I totally would do some Zans with Drake. Shut up. You couldn't you even. You ain't doing no Zans. You're doing some hams. Yo, fat head <laughs> ass. Hams. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. You see him laid out off the hams. <laughs> 
Yo, I took half a ham down out like a light. Hey, like a light. <laughs> like a light, left through the fight. <laughs> I, took, I took a half, she took the whole thing, slow down. <laughs> Gravy. <laughs> Gravy? <laughs> that would just you be like Cam with rolls. That would be Cam with lunch meat on his fingers just eating it like that. <laughs> Straight out the deli, baby. <laughs> so everybody going Will Smith? I'm going Will. Bill Smith. There's I'm going Drizzy, bro. I'm kicking it with Drizzy. That'd be fun too. Drizzy, I feel fun. like he's he got the new the new age on lock. Like Will knows everybody in the industry because he's been doing it for so long. But a lot of the people he knows they're older. Like you want people that's gonna be like, Kev, what you're doing right now with like the keep your distance comedy show? Like that's new age shit. Like I want to talk to people who have cornered the market on the new age and the new generation. So I, I just like want to be there because it's going to be a whole lot of big booty girls walking around and that's the only reason why you want to hang with Drake. Yes, no, nigga. Funny, yes, I've yes, never been yes, no nigga. Yes, hilarious. you're right. Yes. Why are you talking about booty so much today, Meg? I've never been to no lit party in my entire life ever, never, ever. That never. sounds like a personal problem, Wait, bro. really? Really. I <laughs> never... That's Meg, like the fact story I've Meg never had a Kraken party. Never been to a Kraken party like like you guys would have. You know, say it's Kraken like like uh, the the fight the fight party. Well, not it wasn't a fight party, but Meg got into a fight at the party. Um, Keon's whole college career, Pat's college to here in St. Louis. That's because you've been like you've been like this your whole. You've been like this since. High you've school. always been you looked at like had a period a, of like I'm not to wall out except for that hot hot boy summer you had before you met Melissa. 99, but there was no parties involved. And when all deaf, you guys used to have parties, no one had ever invited me. Cause you're like a father figure. Nobody wanna bring their dad to the party, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Who had parties and didn't invite you? Right. Everyone. They come back right. like, man, remember at this guy's house? And I was like, what happened? Oh, you know, the kid. Would Hell. you really want to go, Pat? No. <laughs> Kev would not come. That's yeah, another you wouldn't want to go. Yeah. But, but the invite is important. I couldn't get home fast enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> but inviting people is important, even if you don't want to go. I don't want to go to most things, but I, I run it by my desk. <laughs> Please. <laughs> why, 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 is that, <laughs> why, why is that, Pat? Because I always feel like I know I don't want to go to shit, so I never take, like, I don't feel bad when I'm not invited because I didn't want to go anyway. Right. Well, it's like you were you were thought of in the turn up. It'd be like, you know what would be fun? Patrick was there. And then they, they try and they're like, Patrick's not going. But we tried. <laughs> 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 you know, it's funny to keep your distance shows they're more fun when Patrick's there. Hey, you recognize Pat's Patrick like, oh, Pat's here. Yeah. But Patrick doesn't have like the thing about comedians, comedians don't laugh. And it's not that they don't find jokes funny. They just be like, they think they hear jokes from a comic's point of view, which means they're usually processing whether they like the joke or not, and whether they have a tag, you know, for yeah. you. If How they like would have did the joke too. Yeah. Pat just be like. This is a great time. I, am a good time. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know until your show. I didn't. People would tell me it. Shut up, Katir. People, <laughs> I don't laugh like that. <laughs> you just did it. <laughs> That's you all day. Dude. Yeah, yeah, I like that for real. I didn't know till to Kev's show. People comics would tell me every now and then, like I heard your laugh, and I'd be like, oh. But I didn't know until Kev's show that it was obnoxious. Watch the back. It's not you obnoxious. We love it. We it, love it. No, it's not obnoxious, 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 bro. You. When Tony, what Tony said last uh, Friday, man, me and Josh were dying. Tony oh, was like, yeah. "Man, y'all was laughing, so I kept going." Like, you know Kev what I'm saying? It's like, laugh too. Kev like, <laughs> he does that all day long. That, Wait, so do you guys group me with Heidi in terms of laughter? Oh, no one is uh, at Heidi's level. She's no, a I, Heidi everyone. has yeah, she's a very unique, Heidi, distinct laugh. Your laugh is just like, oh, what a steady ego. Yeah, I will put him and Heidi in the same category. <laughs> That's Teddy okay, right Teddy there. don't even be laughing long. It'd just be that short, just like you did. It used to be like, oh, Teddy's here. <laughs> <laughs> that is a chuckle. That is a chuckle if I've ever heard of him. All right, so it looks like everybody's going to Hey, y'all know how Meg laughs? 
Uh, oh. Never mind. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. <laughs> do it. Do, do, do it. Do it. Since you was trying to be ugly, go ahead and do it. You stop. Hey, here I make laugh. Twelve times twelve is one forty-four. <laughs> And the only reason you didn't want to do it because you didn't really know what 12 times 12 was. was like, <laughs> Yo, no lie, man. After 10 and the multiple thing, I clocked out in 11 and 12. I was like, well, nobody need to know all nobody that. Nobody right, You got calculators, bro. <laughs> like, bro. After, a, after 10, I was like, man, you good. <laughs> Looks like the uh, Will Smith has it. Uh, I'm still kicking it with Drizzy, man. Uh, We're going to get right into this next topic. Right after this. Now here's the thing. Did you guys know that men's diets are falling behind? Seriously. Up to 70% of men don't get enough vitamin E and up to 97% don't get enough vitamin D. What are y'all taking these protein shakes for then? It may have to do with the fact that a lot of guys overvalue exercise and undervalue nutrition. They think just because I look good, I'm healthy. And that's not the case. That's just not the case, guys. So Ritual is introducing Essentials for Men. The obsessively researched multivitamin that's formulated to help fill in nutritional gaps in men's diets. I've been taking the Ritual Essential for Men's multivitamin for a little under a week now. And unlike most multivitamins, it doesn't have that oil, uh, fish oil burp associated with it. That's, that's the thing. I, I can't do that. I can't be in the middle of a conversation. We talk, yeah, and get that right there. Like I just had a plate full of fish that I, I uh, that's one of the main reasons I don't mess with multivitamins, but you don't have to worry about these. This actually has a mint flavor. All the pills have a flavor. You're never going to get that fishy burp. And that's what I love. And that's aside from the obvious essentials for men promotes heart health. It also promotes normal muscle function as well as immune function. Guys, this is a tiny step that has a big impact. Another great thing about Ritual is that all the nutrients are on display. Everything is right here, okay? These are vegan-friendly, non-GMO, sugar-free, gluten-free, and all major allergen-free. These are multivitamins, and everything is traceable because where it's from is just as important as what it's for. Ritual is a subscription-based supplement, and it's easy to start and easy to snooze at any time. And if you break it down, it breaks down to about $1 a day. You got a dollar for your health. Fellas, it's time to step up your nutrient game, okay? You can do this, and you can save 10% on your first three months. All you have to do is go to ritual.com slash squad. Again, 10% off your first three months. It comes delivered to your door a dollar a day. What, what, what you going to do with a dollar a day anyway? Get you some multivitamins that can change your life. So again, go to ritual.com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. Ritual.com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and step your nutrient game up. Next topic, we have what is better, a personal maid versus a personal chef? Off now, top. you mean made not like housekeeper. You mean like almost like butler type stuff? Like do, do everything? Yeah, yeah, do everything. That. That's not a maid. That's no, a no, maid. you're right, Meg. That's a, that's a butler. A maid yeah. would be... Maid just we, cleans your house, cleans right? the laundry, you know, yeah. cleans, up, yeah. cleans the bathroom. But every so, day, we're saying. Yeah. A female Cleaning, butler, tidying, a butler? all of that yeah, type of stuff. A butler does everything. Yeah. A butler can be a woman, too? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm I'm saying maid. I'm messier than I can feed myself. Yes, you are messy. Because <laughs> between but between food mates, it's food mates. <laughs> hey, <Tom. laughs> First of all, tap. Ta ta <laughs> hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Like oh, everybody's off the goddamn rocker today. Everyone, uh, everyone crashed and burned. I feel like I feel like I should just stand here and the rest of the just waiting. <laughs> Everyone, everyone crashed into the same wall. <laughs> <laughs> I we all would have did it and all would have messed up too. Like everybody the <laughs> My first word after Pat was wrong. I, I mean, Tom, oh my God. No. <laughs> hey, Tom, looks like you're going to be doing overtime today. Just want to let you know. Tell your wife you're not coming home.
It's like when a sheep jumps off a cliff and then all the other ones are like, well, that. <laughs> and they all just follow what's, him. Kevin, what's going on in that big old head that you can't get it together? Man. Right. You know why? Because he's already thinking about his next meal. He doesn't, you can't process all that at one time. He's like, okay, I just ate, but I know I got this to do. <laughs> my variety windows are getting tinted, and I've been thinking about that this episode. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, are you really getting tints? Oh, yeah. What, what level? What level? Presidential? No. Um, no. Presidential. Like 30% you, you, that you can still see through? Yeah. yeah. Well, he, he he was like, if you go too dark, you'll get pulled over a lot. And I was like, That's nah, not true, don't... bro. Here's the thing. People with cars like that, they're not really getting pulled over unless you're in the wrong neighborhood, bro. Like, you know how many G-Wagons I see with the front windshield blacked out? Yeah, like, he was saying that you get the... That's... He was like, that's illegal, but it people is. do that all the time. All the time. Especially in a grip of G-Wagon. They really pulled him over. I thought Kevin was going to break the law. But you, did, well, you guys broke his video, weight limit. did you guys see that video of the cops pulling over the, um, the, the Florida, like, head of state? Or it was, like, this black woman who was, like, this, like, really powerful person. Bernie? Yeah. She's yeah, Bernie. Yeah. Was it a while back? Yeah. yeah, I don't know, but she was just like, "What you guys? What was the cause?" And they were just like, "I mean, we do this all the time. Plus, your your, your tents are kind of black. Like, I feel like that's what cops do. They fall back on the tents if they want to pull you oh, up. Yeah. Yeah. That's a fix, you know, that's a fix it ticket. Like that ain't um, that ain't nothing. I'll take a fix it ticket because I'll pull that off and get it done again. I don't care. I don't okay. care. Pull it off. A black man in America pull to the, get pull it a off. to not a even fix it that just kind means of you have to have it done before your court date. I'll pull it off, go to court, and at the court, go get it put right back on. Okay, to hear. That's saying that if you actually make it to court, okay? He goes to here, got to go to the food court. Oh, we have the same one. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, to here, to here. He's at Sabaro. They're like, sir. <laughs> to here goes up to every restaurant and goes, guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I plead guilty. Give me the full sentence. <laughs> to here has 25 years at the Great Stake, 30 years at Sabaros. He has <laughs> he has life at Panda. He's gonna serve him concurrently too, Pat. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and knock these all out together. You don't, you don't, think, you don't think I will? You don't think I will? You don't think I will? I'm gonna just, just knock out these 25 years real quick. You I come back. I know Pat came to the office with thong sandals on, and his toes wasn't done. So somebody needs to have a talk with him. What? Nah, they, those they, are not thong oh. Yeah, see, I, I didn't know he was gonna. I didn't know he was gonna show it. He killed the joke. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I'm gonna hold on to this lie. Hopefully, that doesn't show. <laughs> 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 yeah, I had a nerve to prove it. It's like, I, like I can show that I did 30 years at Saburos. You ain't shit. Saburos. <laughs> <laughs> You said Saburo. Saburo. I said Saburos. This is oh New Mexican pizza spot. Saburo. I said Saburo. That's what you said. Not what your mouth said. Okay. What was y'all? What's what was y'all? Uh, what's y'all go to food court uh, restaurant? Saburos and Panda any Express? any um any generic Chinese Japanese place that will let you do like the samples of the bourbon chicken, because that ain't even a real thing. You can't get no bourbon chicken anywhere outside of a food court. You sure can't. There's a bourbon lot of chicken is for sure a mall thing. For right. Sure. There's a lot of exclusive <laughs> restaurants that are only in food courts, and I, I try to go for those. Like, there's usually, like, some Hawaiian spot I've never seen before, some Japanese spot, or, or like, a great steak. Those What's are the, uh, the one that does the subs? Is it Charlie's? Charlie's, yeah. I've never seen those as a standalone. <clears throat> I saw one in the Midwest, but... It looked a little shysty. Yeah, hot dog I'll, on a stick. I'll hit a Charlie's any day. Hot dog on a stick is lit. Solid. Really? I've never eaten oh, it. Yeah. Like that is just I don't know why. I'll do wiener wiener schnitzel, but I won't. Do oh Lord, <laughs> have mercy! <laughs> you knew that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> I'll do wiener a German schnitzel. Word? I don't want to go to Wiener Schnitzel. It's sound like the internet is going now. He said, I'll do Wiener Schnitzel. Shit. Why are your Wi-Fi messed up? In real life? You went for a German word. You went for a German word. I saw the word. I was like, I'm going to go for it. You leave you leave German alone. You got a hard enough time with English. Don't you go to German. You don't stand a chance. Shoot or shoot, baby. I'm shooting. Say it. Say Wiener Schnitzel. Say it. Wiener schnitzel. 
Just say hot dog place. Shut up, asshole. <laughs> I'm going to come out there and shake the shit out of you. Stick to English. <laughs> Schnitzel. Say Schnitzel. Sh- Man, hey. leave me alone. I said You can say S H I T. You can say Schnitzel. Get him, Doug. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine to hear growing up in Germany. That would have been even. Oh weird. my God. <laughs> I would talk oh. right. I feel like they would beat me if I talked wrong. So I would, I would talk right if I grew up in Germany. No, I feel like you would just do sign language if you grew up there. You'd be like, I'm not even gonna try. Eyes are slotting. <laughs> I'm gonna try that one. That's where Melissa used to live in Germany, Kaiser Slotten. That was a, that's a city. Yeah. Ooh, it was Kaiser a Slotten. military bit. Kaiser Slotten. That's why. Why is, it, why is German so aggressive? Like it's every word, they words. They put they, they put four the consonants together. Every word. Like got German, four German is like that. Chinese is like that too. It's very harsh. German is a lot harder on the ears than Chinese. Like I don't yeah. know. Like, Chinese I feel is like dumb. all dogs listen to German. Like 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 it, it's for some reason every dog that's like super like like discipline. If you go like nine lahaim, they're just like lahaim. Jewish, ain't it? Is Hebrew or very Jewish? <laughs> I, I, I don't know either. I don't know either. So the, the <laughs> said nine, you, time. you just said those because they rhymed. <laughs> I don't know either language, so I'm sorry if I said. You know what's funny about that? My brother-in-law he, he showed those two thing. languages that had a beat too. He was like, "Nine, nine, nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> We don't get along, sir. Like, <laughs> wow. Did that ever mend? Did that ever like? Because I know I that black and white people still have some, you know, some issues. So is is does German and like Jewish relations? Well, I mean, like the Nazis are like basically not running the country, so I think they're okay now. <laughs> I know that. I'm just saying there has to yeah, be. Yeah, you're just saying there's still like a racial you know, tension. Like after the that, no, but that's what it was. It was the Nazis, and that now that the Nazis are not like running the country, then th- there wasn't any issue with the country itself. It was just that group. Kev, you all right? What's wrong with your feet and arm? What? <laughs> your what? Your what? His feeding arm. He was kept doing. Feeding arm. What's wrong with your feeding arm? Yeah, I, I said feeding like, arm, man. Was, uh, I said it for I don't you know what you're talking about. I thought it was like me, man. I'm tired of all y'all. Shut up. I hate everybody. You can replay it. Hey, hey, hey. To hear? Shut up. No, I hate everybody. Shut up. Uh, give hey, me a hug. Hey. Hi. Hi. Give me a hug. Hi. It's okay, Tia. He's <laughs> looking down like a pal. <laughs> it's okay. What are going with? A maid or a chef? Oh, a chef oh, yeah. all day. Yeah. Maid. Clean up. I got food on deck. This, Just this is hard up. for me because at being in quarantine with a toddler, I need both of these. I'm tired of cooking these meals. Tired of trying to... I'm, I'm a short order chef. I'm tired of trying to... What are you more me. tired of? I'm tired of cleaning up pee. I'm tired of cleaning up Cheerios, toys. I don't, I, don't, I want them. You're tired of going raw? Because like oh. if you're not tired of going raw, then shut up and deal with it. So when here Meg, have one child. When Meg goes raw, it's called sashimi. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible, Patrick. Think about it. There's layers to that. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> I feel like when that we had very, when I had little that kids, is very the cleaning was too. No, it was more racist. I thought. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was raw. I feel like the cleaning when I had kids as young as Meg's kid is, the amount of cleaning is is out of this world, man. All all kids do is is destroy. They're, their pee, poop, spilling stuff. The high chair was just, it was chaos, man. They got food all on the side of their mouth. Like, ugh. Yeah. yeah, now that you say, I think I'd rather have a maid because if I cook, then the maid can still clean up the dishes. There you go, Meg. And she now can now you're clean up your my mom. child. That's the loophole right maid. there. You need to clean up your attitude, but there ain't no maid for that. <laughs> 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 hey, private chef clean their dishes though, right? After yeah, the- yeah. I'm going, I'm going with the chef. I'm a, I'm a very neat person, so I and I like to eat. I mean, not as much as Kev, but I like to eat, and I would go for the chef ten out of ten times. Okay, so chef for Keon, chef for Meg. 
No, I'm going maid. Okay, so you and, and Pat are with the maid. The maid. Uh, Kev, what are you going? Maid. Maid. Sexy maid in a French maid outfit. Mm hmm. No, I hope they give you an old, fat, hairy maid. Remember Arnold Schwarzenegger was uh was making sweet love to his maid? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, he has a, a maid baby. He got a maid. Yeah, real life. Or a house. He's a whole child. He got a, she got a baby. She had a baby, right. You got a baby by him? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. His son is like 20, 20 something. He looks amazing. just like Arnold. And he really? was married. I gotta look this up. Look this I didn't up. Know. He like a he's like a a Mexican version of Arnold. It's crazy. Oh what? baby. Was he married? Yes, he's yeah, married. Yes, he's married to the same lady that whole time. Oh. The Kennedy, the Kennedy girl. Oh my God, he, he does look just like him. him. Look just like him. What? With long hair. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. All right, well, it looks like the personal chefs have that Mildred one. Mildred Baina. No, the the. Wait, the what you, what'd you pick here? I picked the chefs too. I'm going to pick a chef. We no, lost three of us we picked lost. AIDS. Three of us picked AIDS. Because Kev lied and said oh. it was AIDS. And gotcha. then the rest of them took me. I already have a housekeeper, so I've, I've chosen already. <laughs> of course you do. I do. Looks just like him. That's crazy. He looks just like this one picture where he's posing like Arnold. This looks like this, a spitting Whoa. image of him. All right. Guess, well, it looks wait, like. Wait, wait, wait. Here, here. Uh, one, one second. One, one second. One second. Give me this. Give me this. I guess the maid said, come in me if, wait. Damn it, come you, you call for an audience. If you want to live, come in me if you want to live. Huh? <laughs> I forgot the line. All right, take us out of here. Hilarious, bro. Looks like the, the maids have that one, and we're going to move on to our last and final Topic right after this. <laughs> it's your boy to hear more, and I'm here to talk to the fellas. Well, not just to the fellas, but this 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 is really gonna this is gonna connect with you guys. Listen, it's time to put down the X body spray and the polo blue. No disrespect, but it is it's time to upgrade, man. We can't keep progressing with technology and everything else and not ad adapt it to the way that we shop for our cologne. Listen, guys, if you're still going to the mall. And that's the only place you're shopping for your clone. You're outdated, okay? It's time you stepped into the future and embrace Hawthorne. Why? Why, Tahir? Why should I check out Hawthorne? I'm going to tell you why, okay? Because I was skeptical. Here's this company that says that they have a new way of buying cologne. How do you know what I like? I will tell you how they knew what I like. I took a two-minute survey, okay? In this survey, they asked me what I like to do, where I go out, where I hang out. When I hang out, what do I do there? Am I the life of the party? Of course I am. Uh, what do I drink? Whiskey? Neat? They take all of that information, all of that information from that two-minute survey, and they, they come up with a scent that is just for me. Not just one, but two. You get a work and a play scent. Come on. What, two? Yes, too, okay? Because you should smell different in different environments. That's perfectly understandable. And if you don't understand it, I'm gonna hip you to some more game. Listen, ladies remember scent. You understand me, fellas? They remember if you smell fantastic, but they also remember if you stink, okay? So you won't always be remembered for smelling fantastic and Hawthorne will help you do that. Not only do they have colognes, but they have body washes, they have lotions, they have shampoos, conditions, they even have candles. Anything that you're looking for, you can get it at Hawthorne. And ladies, you don't have to be in, in the dark on this. You want to support your man, you can get him the gift card, you can get him the credit so he can he can still take the survey and then you just buy, him, buy it for him as a gift. You guys can be a part of this. Listen, if you want to take advantage, you want to jump on this new train of, of, of fragrance shopping, you, it's, it's still room. There's still time. And not only that, I'm going to hook you up. That's right, your boy's going to look out for you. House 10% off your first purchase sound, okay? Does it sound good? It's better than nothing because you won't get nothing without it. Take advantage of this right now. If you go to Hawthorne.co, use our promo code SQUAD. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D, you're going to get 10% off your first order. That's right. You're welcome. You don't even have to thank me. I got you. I look out for my listeners. Y'all know how I do. Again, that's Hawthorne. H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E dot Co, not com, dot co, C O, and use the promo code SQUAD, S Q U A D D. You're going to get 10% off your first purchase, and that is on your boy. 
You're welcome. Fellas, <laughs> you know how to thank me. Just shoot me $1,000 on my, my cash app. That's it. You know what? Don't even worry about it. Just go out there and smell fantastic. You're welcome. Last and final topic of the day, which is the better album. <laughs> <laughs> better. 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying or Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid, Mad City. Ooh. All right, let's let's uh let's side by side the the tracks. Yeah, oh, yeah Th those are both those are both phenomenal. Like no they shit. are both phenomenal albums. But let's album. be honest about it. Fifty Cent's "Get Rich or Die Trying" was hands down one of the most impactful and better albums. Loved it. It was an amazing album, bro. That is All right. true. What do you guys want to What do you guys want to go over first? Let's do Get Rich or Die Trying. It's older, so let's start All there. All right, Mick, you got it. All right, we got the intro. We got What Up, Gangsta. We got Classic. What up? Classic. We got I've Been Patiently Waiting. Blood Track to Explode On. Mini Man. Fire for Mini Man. Then we got In the Club. Yeah. Fire for In the Club. Then we got First. High All the Time, which has the best, one of the best uh, opening verses I've ever heard. Yeah. Uh, then we have Heat. What then we he have mean? If I Can't, which was my favorite album uh, song on the album at the time. Mm -hmm. Bloodhound, I don't really remember, with Young Buck. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Do -do 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 -do. That might oh, be that the was first devil, yeah. skip on the album. <laughs> uh, Back Down, amazing. P-I-M-P, -P, amazing. Yep. Like My Style, so underrated. The beat was yep. amazing. Poor Little Rich, don't really remember. What? I was a poor nigga, and I'm a rich nigga. Yep. Okay. Okay. I do remember that. Um, also, not one of my favorite songs. Twenty One Questions. Love that song. Yep. Yeah. Don't push me with Lloyd Banks and Eminem, and then yeah. Gotta Make It to Heaven. Your song tape. Shut up, Kevin. No, no, I want to hear. Don't push me, cause I'm close to the bread. Yeah. <laughs> I figured. I figured. You like that one? Kev, Kevin. Like, like don't push me, cause I got too much head. Hey, there it is. Now that's a do that's a good one. <laughs> I got what too much head. <laughs> Fat head. <laughs> All right, but don't forget the bonus tracks. Wangsta, you not Wangsta. like me. Yeah. Life's on the line. Which is that the one where he was like, uh, uh, he was calling them all pussy somehow. <laughs> oh, I smell pussy. Is that you, Ja? Is that you, Herb? Is that, that shit? That? That's so funny. I smell pussy. Is that you, Ja? That's so good. Okay, that was, um, damn, that was even better than I remembered. Bro, classic <laughs> album, bro. All right, well, let's give a... Uh, yeah, that's, that's hard to beat. Let's give a... Uh, good kid, Kendrick. Mad City. We start out with Shireen, a.k.a. Master Splinter's daughter. Don't really remember that. Um, Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe, obviously. Okay. Right. right. Backseat freestyle. That's yeah. what that was in the car. It was another interlude. Here's the thing Kendrick's album has so many interludes. It's like, unless you listen to it a couple days ago, you're like, wait, which one was the song? Which one was the interlude? That album is better or best consumed front to back as a story, as That's opposed to big. like track to track to track. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like 50 Fit had some, so many of those songs were absolute smashes, like smash hits in the club, all the, you know what I'm saying? Like literally people dancing in the club radio. Uh, Kendrick had some fire singles, but it's an album, like beginning to end album. Mm -hmm. I didn't know Kendrick was 33. A specific story. You said what? I didn't know Kendrick was 33 and he's, his name is Kendrick Duckworth. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, okay, then The Art of Peer Pressure. I love that song. I taught Bible study on that one time. Um, oh, that was the song you were talking about. Okay, Money Trees. Nigga, the best J-Rock's verse on Money Trees is one of my favorite features of all time. Take your watch to tell you what time it is. Take your daughter to tell you to kick it where a locker is. God, <laughs> dog. <coughs> it's really mean. It is. It is. <laughs> so rude. That's You're funny. Take so it rude. Deep. Can you imagine a nigga jacked your watch and was like, by the way, it's 6.30. I feel terrible. That's the cherry on top. That <laughs> you don't need. All right, it's your we... Apple Watch. Hey, man, you had a lot of steps in before this. Can <laughs> <laughs> you uh, update it real quick? Well, make sure you get to 15K, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, we got um, after Money Trees, we got Poetic Justice with Drake. Yeah. Then we got Good Kid with uh, Pharrell. Then we got Mad City. Um, MCA. Then we got uh, Swimming Pools. Oh, uh, what? Drink. Pools. Oh, well, right. Then uh, Sing About wow. Me, I'm Dying of Thirst. Oh, love that song. He kept rapping and rapping and rapping. <laughs> then we got uh, so a song I'm not really remembering, Real with Anna Wise. That song was good. Yeah. Not really remembering that. And then Compton with Dr. Dre. And then we have the bonus uh, deluxe ones, which is uh, The Recipe, Black, Black Boy Fly, Now or Never. And uh, that's pretty much it. We got like a Target deluxe edition bonus tracks. I didn't know he dropped extra tracks with Target, but we got B County Building Blues. Anybody know that? No, nah, I'm not familiar with that one. Damn, he even has a Spotify exclusive called The Rest. Oh, okay, he's a lot of uh, additions to this album. Yeah. But going through both of them, I got to give it to Get Rich. Yeah. I'm going I'm to I'm go hold y'all. I never listened to Get Rich or Die Trining straight through. Oh, really? At that time in my life, Good Kid, Mad City was the first, um, not the first, but probably one of my favorite albums that I purchased and listened to front to back. But when did Good Rich or Die Trining come out? Like 2003 or something like that? I feel like it was like two, uh, oh three, yeah, February oh three. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't buying uh, albums at that time, but all those songs and video, like Fifty Cent's a, a rival to rap was like, oh, this is different. He is rapping differently than, and he was so big at the time, like, yeah, he he couldn't miss for for a while. Well, um, the one thing I love about him is I didn't know what was different about it. It was pretty much gangster rap. And like, even when you talk about how he was melodic, like Ja Rule was doing a lot of that stuff. Yeah. That's what I like about 50 Cent right. is like, he was so inherently different that you couldn't really put your finger on why he was so much bigger than the other gangster rappers. No, because I think it, it was because he was a gangster rapper. And of course he had the, the melodic part of it, but he was legitimately... A hood dude, like, like he, you know yeah. what I mean? Like he like, wasn't, like, Chris, like, Chris wasn't Rock, a hood dude like that. We Chris Rock did a whole bit on that. He was like, but he was like, like shot, just, he got shot nine times. Like Chris <laughs> Rock whole bit on that. That's why fifty he got shot nine times, and everybody's like, I believe this nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally, I feel like I always and I always say, but like part of rap is, do you buy into the character that the rapper is selling you? Uh, and that's why I think Cardi B has so much success because she she has the bravado of a rapper. Like, and I think, you know, um, because, you know, being a stripper, you got to have that confidential stage presence. I feel like 50 Cent, when he said he would shoot somebody, I was like, no, oh, I, I, I buy it. I, I think I would. I, right. feel like I wouldn't buy you that for Ja Rule, though. But there's a lot of gangster rappers who have that same energy that I feel like, you know, like you'd be like, you hear a song, you'd be like, I think he's really gooning it. But... but they don't have what 50 Cent has. And because I don't- Because 50 that. in every video is rapping with a bullet hole in his face. <laughs> so you know, it's, hard to that. it's hard to deny that. that. That's a good point. You literally, the proof is in the pudding. That, here's, here's, here's the thing. I, I, I think there's always something to say about a lyricist versus like just a hardcore rapper. Cause like, Ja was rapping that hard stuff, but you didn't you didn't necessarily believe Ja. You believed everything 50 said. And if you didn't, then you you had the articles to prove that everything he said was really what he lived. So and he was Kendrick, with help with Kend he could beat you up. Right. With Kendrick, I felt like he was telling his story from his eyes. He wasn't really engaged in too much. Like he might have got jumped just by being in the neighborhood and stuff like that. But it's hard to dispute somebody that lived through being shot nine times, get shot in the face. Right. It was able to talk about it, rap about it, and make like good music with it. It's like you just yep. gravitated because it's something enticing, it's something interesting yep. about somebody that went through that and is, is talking about it versus somebody that like lives in a bad neighborhood and telling you about their bad neighborhood. And it's but not saying that. Here, I Kendrick for this for the exact reason of what you described. Yeah. Like we've heard gangster rap. Yeah. We haven't yeah. heard I'm with gangsters, but I'm not affiliated rap. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, do I really I don't really want to go that far down, but these are my boys. Like, this is what it's like. And he's still, you know, his boys are dying. You know, they still hitting licks and he's really close. And I feel yeah. like that part of the hood hadn't been described. Right. 
like as clearly as Kendrick did it. Like Ice Cube, I'm out there for real. Fifty, I'm out here for real. Jay, I really sold them drugs. Kendrick was like, I ain't really sell drugs, but my boy sold drugs, and my yeah. boy, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it wasn't soft. It wasn't that. It was just like yeah. this is what it's like to be in Compton when you ain't a, a banger, but you're. But your friends like are, more, but that's more relatable because there are a lot of people like that. But you yeah. have to think about like why rap is popular in the first place. Rap and hip hop is popular in the first place to give people who are nowhere near the hood like yeah. a, a, a look into it. You know what yeah. I mean? So they want to hear about the drug dealing and the the shooting. So although there was a lot of people in the hood or a lot of black people who felt like that. It was just 50s approach was just more universal. Like Kendrick's yeah. approach was more conscious and smart and poetic and stuff like that. And he'll always get the points for that. But in terms of the people who are listening and consuming hip hop who are nowhere near Compton, they want to hear about the person who's hanging out the window with the gun. You know what I mean? Like they, they, don't really, yeah. they can't really relate to the person who's just around it and not in it because that's not really what they're listening for. That, that was like an internal win for black people and and just rap anyways, you know, like 50 Cent was for everybody else too. And I think you have to factor in too, like what you what you do with your music. Like when, when Get Rich Die, when Get Rich Die Trying came out, I was in college. And at that at that time, a lot of the songs were upbeat. They were good for hooping to, working out to, but like Kendrick's, it's a dope listen. It's a dope ass listen. But if you're doing a bunch of things, like I felt like 50's album covers, no matter what you want to do, you want to party, you want to work out, you want to get shot in the face, Nick? Whatever you want to do, I can do this. Where <laughs> as Kendrick, it was like, this is dope, it's chill. but I'm not using this album to do certain things. Kendrick's yeah, album was Kendrick. like an Eminem album to me. Like, you didn't really ride around bumping Eminem like that, but it was a project that you listen to and you appreciate from beginning to end. And Kendrick was like that. Well, I can't say that because Swim Pools. I around bumping Good Kid Match City. Yeah, I, I was like, say, yeah. Swim Pools was a. Uh, and Money Trees was a banger. Like, I can't, yeah. I can't say that. It just was a different feel. It was too good. Yeah. No, they're different totally feel. different. They're totally different. And the other thing that 50 has going for him, even though I personally going to choose Good Kid, Mad City, uh, hit, and, and I think to Pat's point about basically suburban white kids, uh, 50's success, like, by numbers and stuff, numbers were still, like, there wasn't streaming, you know, like that. There wasn't mm -hmm. streaming then. So 50 felt like a freaking asteroid hitting Earth, like when he, when that album came out. It, he was like literally everywhere, really iconic videos. When he, ha you know, came down and he was upside down, like on the treadmill, that's a really iconic music video. Like you can think of those, you think of that album, you can, you can put three, four videos in your mind at that time. The stuff he was wearing, the like bulletproof vest and stuff, like all that stuff was really iconic at the moment. Like, well, I hadn't seen a rapper like this, quite packaged like this, with a backstory like this. this well, listen, guy. let's put it to a vote because we got to get up out of here. So, who we going? Uh, I got, I'm going Kendrick. So, Kendrick for, for Kev. What'd you say, Keon? I'm going with 50, and I still bump that album regularly. Me so. too. Me too. I'm going 50 as well. Meg, who you going? Go with me, Meg. Okay. Pat. Meg, come on. Go with me. Pat? No, that album was great. Going 50. Okay, looks like the I 50s the have it. Probably gonna has it. it again. Lord forgive me. That's Lord been forgive me. And on top of that, muted. like, uh, you can't get muted. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching another episode of Squadcast Versus. We appreciate y'all tuning in and thank y'all so much for the suggestions. He is still muted and does not know it. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus. Special shout out to our guests in the house. Keon Poli. Um, yes, we appreciate y'all, man. We'll talk to y'all next week. Peace. <laughs> Bye.